The match did have plenty of action. Each side had some dangerous opportunities, but it was Mason Mount who sent a ball through a huge gap in the city back line where Kai Havertz coolly massaged it around a charging Ederson, slotting home the only goal of the final. The Blues saw it out for their second Champions League title. Here's the now legendary Thomas Tuchel. We were brave even in moments where, where it was hard to escape the pressure, where we needed to suffer. We, we, kept, uh, we kept the formation. We were brave in the formation. It was, it, we, we were constantly uh, active and it was a relentless performance. And of course, uh, Tony and, and Angie were fantastic and they are so, so solid over the whole years. Um, uh, very, very good. It was a tight game and it was, I think we, we play being the first time in Champions League, we play a real good, good final. We show courage in everyone, especially in the second half. The first half, we, you know, it's not easy to play this competition for all of us. It's the first time, uh, you know, the commitment that they had. and uh, But they did everything, they put everything, and just want to congratulate them for the exceptional season, even for the game they play today. Thomas Tuchel's already promising CV, just got a massive boost from his half season at Chelsea. 19 wins in all competitions, 16 goals conceded over 30 matches, 19 clean sheets. Took Chelsea from 10th to top four in the Premier League, FA Cup final, and the 2021 Champions League crown. Take a bow, Thomas. And a fine Champions League welcome to former Premier League goalkeeper Shaka Hislop after Chelsea Blues beat Manchester City for a third straight time under Thomas Tuchel and they lift the trophy for the second time ever. First of all, Shaka, how impressed were you with the way Chelsea turned out and took care of business and took the trophy? Very. Everything about Thomas Tuchel's side and their performance on, on, on the day, I, I, I thought, spoke volumes to how good they've been under him, how transformed he has made this Chelsea outfit. And then you need big performances from, from your players. And I thought Thomas Tuchel got that. Ben Chilwell, outstanding. Mason Mount, as ever, outstanding. Rhys James probably played the best game I'd seen him uh, put out in a in a Chelsea shirt and, and that says a lot but without question the man of the match the man of the moment as he was in both semi-finals and Golo Kante we cannot stop talking about how good he was Ali Moreno on ESPN FC said it's almost unfair and Golo Kante covers the ground of two men and to have him alongside 10 others everybody's at a disadvantage and that's what you show again you, we cannot sing his praise is highly enough, adding another trophy to uh, a growing uh, trophy cabinet, uh, another award to, for a, a, a simply incredible and, dare I say, the best midfield in world football today. Quite a statement. Now to City, who virtually never put out a starting 11 that did not include at least one of Rodri or Fernandinho. Why did Pep do it in the final, and is it fair to say it could have cost City their first Champions League title? I don't know. And, and here's the thing. I, I just find that Pep Guardiola, on these big occasions, tinkers with his starting lineups, tends to overthink those games and oftentimes get them wrong. But at the same time, he's lost to Chelsea twice before now. He put out starting lineups with both Rodri and Fernandinho. He put out starting lineups with just one defensive midfielder. He went between two strikers and, and one. And then in the end, for the final, goes with that midfield three as, as, as a front three. No real defensive midfielder. And I felt almost second-guessing himself and trying to figure Chelsea out tactically. Now, Frank LaBeouf spoke about finals and Frank knows winning finals having won the 1998 World Cup final himself and I thought he put it succinctly finals are there to be won put out your best 11 and give them the confidence to go out and win the game this is not the time to be tinkering, to be playing an out of form Raheem Sterling, to be wondering about how best to counter what Chelsea have to offer and in the end Manchester City didn't look anything like, they, like themselves, 
and found themselves second best to Chelsea for the third time running. All right, we got one more for you, Frank. Uh, Lampard must have some uh, mixed emotions at best, but replacing him with Thomas Tuchel turns out to be the stroke of genius. Where does Tuchel rank now among the current elite managers? I, I think it's a reputation that continues to grow. You saw the way that he did at Dortmund. A little bit frustrated at PSG, which Pochettino is now finding out himself. But to come in and turn this Chelsea team around in as short a time as he did. Keep in mind that Thomas Tuchel arrived after the close of the transfer window. None of these players were his own and has turned them into top four finishers, turned them into European champions. I, I don't think there's another manager in world football who you can see doing that. And while we continue to sing the, the praises of Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola and Hansi Flake and so many others, Thomas Tuchel has done something that I, I don't think he'll ever get enough credit for, and I certainly can't see anybody else doing, not in the, in the way that he did. Well, there appears to be a new sheriff in town. Shaka Hislop, thanks so much.